Hi everyone. Now then guys, today's tutorial is going to be the first installment of my project ANR. I'm trying to recreate Estee Lauder's advanced night repair, but with a different twist to it. So we're not encroaching on anyone's copyright or patented patents, so on and so forth. And um, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the ingredients of the 1982 version and the 2023 version and sort of combining the two, but as I said, with a twist, so we don't bloody but you know so <clears throat> the first ingredient on the ingredients list and what I'll do is I'll do them in order so I'll start at the top and work my way down and that's what ingredient lists do guys they give you at the top of the ingredients list is the the highest percentage of an ingredient so where it says ingredients I'll put it down here guys so you can see what I'm talking about where it says ingredients the first the first item which follows the word ingredient is the highest percentage of so with advanced night repair, the first ingredient is, of course, water. It is a serum after all. Um, Estee, Lauder, Estee Lauder used to use purified water in all of their formulas, but for some reason they just use water now. And the second ingredient on the list is bifida ferment lysate. And I'll explain what that is and how it could sort of help the skin. Um, but before I do any of that, guys, we need to work out how much bifida lysate ferment or bifida ferment lysate we actually need in the formula. It is the second ingredient on the ingredients list, so you would expect it to be a pretty high concentration. However, there are 40 to 45 ingredients in this formula, making the percentage much smaller at the nearer the top. And obviously, when we get down to the bottom, then we're talking minuscule amounts. Um, poss I'd probably reckon, reckon probably around 30% for bifid bifida ferment lysate in the formula and I'll talk to you about what bifida ferment lysate is so gorgeous ones bifida ferment lysate is a it's an invention by from Estee Lauder I think anyway and it's been taken up by the Korean beauty world it's everywhere at the moment uh, bifida bacterium longum I'll write it all down here guys is a gram negative sorry gram positive bacterium it is one of the friendly bacteria, and it's one of the ones which makes up all of the, um, you know, the supplements people take in order to maintain a healthy gut, guys. And it, you can buy it anywhere. I got these um, sample packs. There are seven tablets in here, and these are the bacterium on the back. Um, Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair actually has two bacteria. It has Bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus, in, and they're covered in basically all of these. Um, I'll link all of this into the description. This was, I think, fifth, one pound or something like that for seven tablets. And we'll be using a fraction of these. And we're not actually going to make bifida ferment lysate. We're just going to use these whole. Because what bifida ferment lysate actually is, and I need to look at the patent, the original 1982 Estee Lauder advanced night repair patent to be able to explain to you what bifida ferment lysate is and the theory behind using it. So basically the object behind the, the Estee Lauder's 1982 original pattern is to obtain a substance or an ingredient, if you like, which will actually help to repair DNA, which it stands for deribonucleic acid, which are the building blocks of our skin and life and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and what the pattern actually says to do is to take something like um, the bifida bacteria or the lactobacillus bacteria they give you quite a large list of bacteria which can be used and then they tell you to or tell the the invention describes smearing the um, bacterium onto a petri dish you know a culture a bacteria culture that's the bifida part of the bifida lysate ferment <coughs> and then it grows the bacteria obviously grows onto the petri dish and the culture and then they kill it <laughs> it's quite simple then they kill it with salt water that's the lysate part because lysate means death in um, latin i think isn't it I, I could be wrong there but that's what i always expect I, I understood it to mean is that that lice or lease means death so what they're doing is they're growing the bacteria then killing them and the ferment part is anyone's guess really guys it could be the fact we're growing the bacteria in the first place that could be the ferment they don't mention yeast or anything like that so i'm i'm in the dark on that one guys but and <clears throat> because we have these dead bacteria which produce a substance or something i don't, really don't understand it guys but uh, the, the logic behind it but um as the Lord claims that this substance which these dead bacteria produce can repair DNA, whereas we're going to use the live bacteria. We're not going to kill them, guys. And this is the step we're taking to ensure we're not stepping on Estee Lauder's toes by making our own version of advanced night repair. 
what patents tend to do is they they give you the clinical evidence behind the invention and then they give you typically they'll give you an example of how to then create the or, or how the invention is, is used um estee lord i think they give a cream and a gel and possibly a lotion they don't talk about a serum at all guys um but it's basically the technology of the dna repair which has been protected by the patent however i don't think that anything which is dead could produce any sort of substance which could be beneficial to the skin whereas live bacteria possibly could there are no clinical trials online guys that suggest that uh, bifida ferment lysate could repair dna cells um some things possibly can you need enzymes really to be able to repair uh, broken DNA cells or damaged DNA cells but um, I can't see a, a dead bacteria doing it guys can you? However nowadays we have research which uh, indicates that the topical application of bacteria or friendly bacteria can um, they, they strengthen the moisture barrier on the skin they also have potent inflammatory actions so the inclusion of something like bifidum bacteria, bifida bacterium in a skincare formula it certainly wouldn't harm our skins and we are trying to recreate Estee Lauder's advanced night repair and that has bifida ferment lysate in and we're going to have to add bifida bacteria into ours although no, we're not going to be doing the lysate or the ferment stage of the bifida ferment if that makes sense I hope it does <laughs> and as I said beautiful ones I mean these sachets cost I think £1.50 or something really really cheap like that off eBay I got three of these because I knew I'd be doing this tutorial uh, it's very very soon guys and um, there's the three sample packs these are all identical and each um each bacteria has typically around 100 billion parts or or organisms in there so and we've got um one two uh, probably around 12 or 13 so that you you work that out i'm not very good at maths guys but it's a lot basically whereas bifida ferment lysate proper if you like um is really expensive and you can only buy it really from career and places like that it's sell it on ebay amazon you, it comes in like a cloudy sort of liquid i think um but i'm not, I'm not going to use that in the advanced night repair because i don't think it would work guys so we're going to be using live bacteria as opposed to dead bacteria and whilst we're here guys i want to just show you my little basket here this is my advanced night repair basket. So in here we've got hyaluronic acids. We've got three different, four different types of hyaluronic acid there. Now that's nice in my Joseph. <laughs> Egypt, what an Egypt I am, eh? <laughs> Sorry guys, right? <laughs> I'm not starting again though. So we've got hyaluronic acid there, three different sorts, which is the one of the, the top of the higher up ingredients on Estee Lauder's advanced night repair, as is yeast extract. And you've also got sodium RNA in there, and RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Uh, that's the, the RNA to your DNA, if you like. Um, and yeast is also a bloody good source of RNA. Um, the sodium part, we could mix it with lye or something, to make, or even bicarbonate of soda, to make a sodium RNA. But I'm just going to be using yeast extract to cover the yeast extract and the RNA in the formula. Again, don't ask me why Estee Lauder have included something like that in their formulation because it, you know, just putting something like DNA or RNA on your skin won't repair the DNA. It's like putting uh, a scab on top of a scab, if that makes sense. It just doesn't do anything. We've also got cola nut powder here. That's another big ingredient in Lauder's uh, ANR. We've also got, it's also got squalene in it. So we have our olive oil squalene. It's also got sun. Um, where's my lecithin? Ah, oh, here it is. Sunflower lecithin or lecithin, however you call it, guys. That's going to make up the body of the formula. What else has he got in his bag? Ah, potassium sorbate, and they use potassium sorbate and phenoxyl ethanol in or phenoxy ethanol. Yeah, in their formulation. There's also caffeine tablets, and so it's got caffeine in, and that's one of the heavily featured ingredients. Glycerin and this is an interesting one, EDTA or disodium, the disodium salt of EDTA. Now you don't have to worry about any of the science behind all of these guys. And I, as I said, I will link all of these into the description. Um, but yeah, so I hope, <laughs> I hope today's uh, spotlight, it's not really a spotlight on, it's just, I'm just trying to ed uh, not educate your stuff, but inform you beautiful ones at home about what these things are and why the rationale behind Lauder's inclusion of them in advanced night repair 
and potentially why they could make differences to skin, although I don't think bifida ferment lysate will make any difference to skin. I certainly don't think it has the power to repair DNA because it isn't an enzyme. It's not a DNA specific repair enzyme, which is the only thing which can repair broken or harmed or damaged DNA. There is also chamomile in the um, Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair, and we're going to make a decoction of advanced of sorry of chamomile flowers, which I've already done. I've already filmed that, and that will be another tutorial coming very soon, guys. And good old vitamin E that's in there too. That should hopefully all just blend together with the soy lecithin um, base, which is basically all Advanced Night Repair is. It's a soy and water soy lecithin and water formula with loads of stuff added into it, and it has got a lot of ingredients in it guys so is it worth 115 pounds no certainly not but as i'm sure many of you at home can tell i'm pretty excited about this little project but with our sample pack of uh, friendly bacteria all well, we're going to be we're not culturing them guys are you we're not putting them in a petri dish trying to grow them they are grown enough for our purposes all we'll be doing is is adding opening up capsules pouring a few one or two capsules into our base of soy lecithin sorry sunflower lecithin and that's it for now, guys. Oh, I must just say I'm waiting on pantothene, which is vitamin B5. Panthenol is pro-vitamin B5, but pantothen or pantothenic acid is vitamin B5 itself, whereas panthenol is pro-vitamin. So that's a stage before. In Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair, it has got pantothene in it. So I've ordered some of that. And as I said, the whole formula comes to around £15 or something like that. So making it much much cheaper than the lord is 115 quid for just probably around 150 us dollars for 75 meals where i've made nearly a bloody liter of the stuff no i'm joking i haven't i've made around 200 meals so all right guys um please don't forget to give the please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and i'll endeavor to answer and i'll see you all soon guys lots of love take care bye